back to school can warrant a lot of stress for students. Yeah, that's why we want to get right to ABC 15 anchor Kaylee O'Kelly this morning. So Kaylee, how can parents help with their kids when it comes to those back to school anxieties that really we've all experienced? Yeah, and especially so you guys after COVID, right? I mean, the struggle has been real. Back to school time is exciting, but it can also be a time full of emotions for kids and parents. You add in the, the pressures of social media and fears can sometimes be overwhelming. So we took your questions to the experts to talk about managing expectations and doing this in a way where we can kick off the school year in a great way. Like I kind of want to get back into my routine of doing things again and but also like I don't want to go back because I remember I'm there and I hate it like I'm dreading everything. I don't like hate it but it's just it's a lot of work. Kayla Hodge starts her sophomore year of high school this year but it's not just academics she's worried about. The education aspect was easy but the social aspect was nerve-wracking just because of our generation how judgmental our generation is and the like subjects and the like standards that you're supposed to li like live up to. School in 2023 looks and feels different for students in part because of the pressures of social media. Peer pressure in the 80s and 90s that's nothing compared to what it is today. Um, not only do you have the in real life factor but when children are basing their self-worth and their confidence and their value off of likes, comments, engagements, and when they have to now think about how they're going to portray themselves in a photo at school, having the latest designer threads and kicks when there's so much more behind the scenes. Hodge sees and feels that pressure firsthand. Like a lot of people are like, find a role model looked up to, but with social media, almost all of it's fake. You're looking up to a girl who's editing her pics. You're looking up to a guy who's taking testosterone to get so big. Like, it's all unrealistic, but people don't know that. A lot of people don't have that thought that goes through their head, and that makes it unrealistic. There's an awful lot of connection via social media and, you know, group chats on Snapchat and then TikTok and, like, all the different ways that kids can feel like they might be connected. Vanessa Baker is with Not My Kid, a nonprofit that addresses teen mental health. While she says social media can make kids feel connected, it can also make them feel left out. They're not really, like, sharing of themselves or feeling safe um, to trust someone else. And so there's a lot of, there could be many people around and you still feel alone. Baker stresses the importance of listening and making kids feel heard. When a kid feels like they're lonely and the mom or dad says, well, you have all these friends, like, well, don't, you know, you're on your phone all the time. How are you, you know, it's like hearing them and meeting them where they're at with that experience of loneliness is a really quick shortcut to help someone feel less alone, to just validate that that's their experience. Okay, so if you're watching and you, you have kids and you've been through this experience where your kids are watching their friends from school, they're out having fun and they feel completely left out, I, I'm right there with you. And that's why we're diving even deeper into this very issue as we continue our back to school coverage. So coming up a little later here on ABC 15 Mornings, we have even more advice for parents and kids when it does come to getting into a better, better social media rhythm and with tech all around. That's coming your way throughout the morning here on ABC. 15 mornings. Yeah, and it's just a, gr a great jumping off point to start the conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's such a transition point at any mm -hmm. age, right? right? Whether you're going into elementary school, junior high, then high school, or even just that next level, that next grade. So, Kaylee, this is really great options for parents to have those conversations with their kids. We appreciate it. And with school back in session, yeah. we want to give a shout out to all kids across the valley gearing up for their.